so if you watched the last bearing video, um, I washed a bunch of bearings in the washing machine and it actually turned out really well except for these eight bearings which had a bunch of seized up grease on the inside which didn't come out and that's because it was it has been sitting in there for a couple of years so as uh, I was requested to try it in the dishwasher and that's where I'm coming from now these have gone through and you know thinking maybe the jets from the dishwasher would do a better job of clearing out the grease um, but unfortunately they are just actually in worse condition than they were before. So what happened was it didn't do anything else to get rid of extra grease. You see this one's got quite a bit in it. But it did rust the bearings up pretty good. Which I thought would be an interesting thing to talk about real quick. So why would there be rust in the bearings that were in the dishwasher? But the bearings that were in the washing machine uh, came out perfectly fine, completely free of any rust at all. So the main reason is going to be because the bearings in the washing machine were completely submerged in water. Whereas the bearings in the dishwasher were being sprayed with water and they had a good mixture of water and air. So the thing about rust is rust happens from oxygen. There is some oxygen in water. Oxygen can dissolve in water like carbon dioxide can dissolve in water and get carbonation, right? But if you just have a ton of water, um, you're actually separating the oxygen in the air from getting to the bearing. So these ones, these bearings, were actually wet in the air, being sprayed um, for a, a long cycle. Uh, the other thing that contributed to that is the dishwasher cycle is very hot, where the washing machine is a lot cooler and it rinses them in cool water. Anyway, so the hotter the metal is, the faster the reaction happens and the faster they rust. The third reason is, and this is probably the real killer and what caused most of the rust, is in the dishwasher, the bearings sit in hot steam for a long time. And I think that's hot steam. It's got water, it's got air, and it's just a, a hot mixture of that. And so that's just caused it to rust like crazy. Um, and again, the washing machine doesn't have that. It's just submerged. And so the drying cycle uh, of the washing machine or the dishwasher involves hot, steamy air. And the drying cycle of the dishwasher involves a centrifuge to, that actually really effectively gets rid of almost all the water when, by the time you get it out. So in a real world example, where you actually might get rust in your wheels and on your bearings. What might cause that, I think most of the time, is either repeated exposure to water over a long period of time. So let's say if I left my longboard out on the path on the side of the house where the sprinklers come on every other night or so, what's going to happen is they'll get the bearings get wet, they'll stay moist for a long time overnight, they dry out, and then they get wet again, and it happens again. If I leave it out there for two weeks, very quickly, you can begin to see how much it is going to be exposed to both water and air in that time. Another thing that I think happens a lot is you'll get water inside the bearing or the wheel itself to where um, you kind of have a reservoir where water can sit and pool and then what ends up happening is the spaces um, in the bearing, you know, between the, the balls and the races and the shield and the, and the seals, you know, it's got all these tiny little spaces where you can have capillary action happening. And if you've got a reservoir of water inside the wheel or anywhere, what can happen is you can have a little moist spot on the outside where water is constantly evaporating from the exact same little spot but as it evaporates, it pulls fresh water from inside the bearing or inside the wheel to keep the same spot moist for a long, long time, many, many hours. And so I think that is a huge, huge thing that happens because of the, the small spaces in the bearing. Um, that's the sort of condition that's not present when you're submerging a bearing in and washing it and drying it really quickly. You're not leaving 
uh, it exposed to both water and air for any extended period of time. So that was kind of my little my little spiel on on rust and stuff. But I still have bearings that have grease in them. Now they're rusty, and uh, I've got to find a way to easily fix this without doing too much work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the washing machine again. But this time I'm going to do a few changes. Instead of a sock, I've got this little bag. This is the bag that came with my, my camera. And it's a little ballistic nylon bag. And this is nice because I can just stick a couple bearings in it. They won't go anywhere in the, in the washing machine. They'll stay in the bag. And, uh, and this will kind of dampen it so that it's not knocking around and making a bunch of noise or hurting the machine. But that's kind of what I did last time. That's not that much different from a sock. I still need something that's able to get in there and grab the grease. Really the only thing that's going to remove the grease at this point is friction. I've got a bunch of old toothbrushes here and just maybe these toothbrush bristles will be good enough to uh, get inside the bearing and, and, uh, and scrub them. But, you know, how are we going to, you know, how is that going to work? What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut the heads off a bunch of these old toothbrushes. You can see I've used this one for cleaning bearings before. So if I toss a bunch of these toothbrush heads into the bearings, and they'll be tossed around, if we're lucky, <laughs> what might happen is that it'll brush up enough against everything to, to loosen up the grease and to clean them all really well. And if this works, this will be my new bearing cleaning kit, this little bag. And I'll keep the brushes in it all the time, and every time I need to clean a new set of bearings, I'll just throw the eight bearings in here and throw them in the wash. And uh, we'll see if this we'll see if this does anything. It's kind of, I mean, they're just kind of floating in here, and maybe they won't be able to do any scrubbing, but maybe they will. So I'll follow through on that in another video. Longboard technology, over and out.